Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. A state trooper was fired for sending a sex tape she filmed with another woman to fellow officers. Former Mississippi Highway cop Ivana Williams, 36, was let go in January, and the other woman in the tape is suing her in federal court. The petition alleges Williams sexually assaulted the unnamed woman, videotaped it, and shared the clip with other troopers. Williams has since sued back, on the grounds the alleged victim damaged her reputation and business relationships by saying she was assaulted. The other woman also claims she was told the clip would be deleted, while Williams claims her firing was retaliatory. She has filed an appeal, claiming the decision violates rules designed to protect state employees. Much of that night is a blur, the unidentified victim writes in the lawsuit. I became unusually and extremely intoxicated. The next morning I woke up in bed without my clothes on. I was aware a sexual encounter had taken place but had difficulty remembering any of what happened. The petition adds that while questioning the trooper about what had transpired, it was revealed to the petitioner that Williams had recorded the encounter with her phone without the petitioner's knowledge or consent. The petitioner then demanded the trooper delete the video and not share it with anyone, but the trooper allegedly had already shared it with other officers. She heard nothing else about the video until May of last year, when Williams told the victim the wife of her boyfriend at the time had discovered the video on her husband's phone or email. During that conversation, the suit states, Williams, informed, the petitioner, for the first time that she had transmitted the video to her boyfriend. During that same conversation, it adds, Williams revealed, that at least one other individual also had possession of the video. Over the next couple of months, the alleged victim learned the video had been sent out several times, and that many people were in possession of it. Others had at least seen it, and the trooper was allegedly still sharing the video. The alleged victim, at that point, said she filed complaints with the Mississippi Attorney General's office and local authorities, but has been left unaware of the status of any potential investigations. The former trooper has argued the encounter was consensual, and that she only shared it with one other person. The woman filing against her, meanwhile, is reportedly representing herself in the proceedings, after two of her lawyers withdrew. Williams, who has more than 10,000 followers on social media, has maintained she is innocent, claiming her firing for circulating the clip was retaliatory in response to her filing a grievance with DPS in January. She also said it was discriminatory due to her being a woman, despite two other troopers, Julius Hudson and Jeremy Lott, also being fired in connection the incident. Cops, in turn, have also claimed she visited porn websites on her state-issued phone. After Williams was named in the woman's lawsuit, she was transferred from Rankin County to Bolivar County which she said was done without explanation. The move put her more than 100 miles away from her children, she argued in her January appeal. She was fired six days later. A letter from state officials now considering her appeal from back in February accused her of unprofessional conduct and misuse of state property, according to WBLT. Williams, however, has described the conflict as, she said, she said, situation, promising to fight at court to her followers on Facebook and Instagram. I have told you all that I am innocent and I can't wait until my day in court so I can prove my innocence, Williams stated. Lately in society, it's not until you're proven guilty. No, you're guilty until proven innocent. She has also claimed to have already met with investigators to give them her personal phone for forensic testing, from which they found no evidence, in support of the plaintiff's claims. Both suits are currently being considered. The other woman has sued Williams for $11 million and the former trooper is suing for $20 million. No court dates have been set.